Welcome back to Wasteland 2. Let's continue to explore the new citadel. <laughs> Just a, a random chopped up carcass. Maybe that's one of the butcher's experiments that went wrong. Oh, hello. <laughs> it's a Kotsk half pint. What is it? At first I thought it was in a wheelchair, but it's actually not. I think it's on like... I think it's had its legs replaced. Yeah, it's had its whole like lower body replaced by some sort of a little like cart thing. Ugh. Oh, that one's in a wheelchair. There we go. <laughs> oh my god, they're even named. Like, that's a Kotk Wheels. This is the half pint. <laughs> the thing's really creepy. The one with its lower body replaced. It actually reminds me of uh, an episode of The X-Files. There's some... Some person or monster or something that was... Like, would go around on some little platform and just drag around. Like, drag themselves using their hands, I think. And their little... Their little platform thing would squeak, and... I, it was really creepy. I don't remember much about it. I was really young when I watched it, but damn, it was creepy. Oh, hold on. A huge dark room, reeking of antiseptic and death, and lit only by the flickering lights that hang over ranks of grisly operating tables and strange machines. You can hear the hiss of life support systems, and the faint groaning of test subjects. But you see no doctors or nurses. Except for the poor bastards on the tables. The place is deserted. An operating table with a control panel built into one end, and a thicket of robot arms dangling from the ceiling above it, like the tentacles of a metal jellyfish. Every one of the arms is tipped with some variety of buzzsaw or scalpel. Is that what I think it is? Oh my god. That is a bunch of limbs that have literally just been shoved into a garbage can. That is disgusting. Wait a minute, didn't I take this? Oh. Oh no, I opened the other one. Whoops. There was three. You see an IBM AT on the table. The screen says Wasteland 3. You shiver with anticipation. Are they actually going to make a Wasteland 3? I guess it's possible. It's absolutely possible. I'm not sure how successful this game actually was. I know it definitely wasn't a flop. It, it definitely was not a flop. I, I'm just not sure if it was successful enough to make them really want to make a Wasteland 3. I have no idea. I'm not sure if they've actually released information about how many sales it's made. And I know they're also really, really busy making, uh, what is it? Um, what the hell's the name of that game? Tides of Numa 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 Nera, whatever. Yeah. They're kind of busy making that. What am I doing? I should probably actually set up my people. I was just gonna dumbly run in. Let's not do that. What's my range? Jesus Christ, the range of my snipers is fucking insane. Look at that. hit points, not worth trying to shoot them again. Let's go for the lobber. Ah, almost killed in one hit. Oh, you... Oh, that's right, he's gonna lose control constantly because these are robots slash androids. 
shit. Well, I, I mean, I guess they're not really... They're not really robots or androids, are they? No, they're enhanced people, but regardless, they're... robot -y. Which means Lex Canium is going to go insane. Well, fine, go get yourself killed, whatever. I'm staying here. How's her armor? Seven. Five. Alright, so this one I can hit with the, with my laser weapon. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave the combat speed on three times. Hmm, six armor. No, I can't use this. That's a big one. Synth the Basher. 8 armor, 400 hit points. It is melee though, so I should be able to kill it before it can actually get to us. This should put it down. Anybody with seven armor? Oh, there we go. Ah, sight's blocked. I could move. Hmm, I'm pretty sure my sight would yeah, my sight would still be blocked even if I moved. Okay. Just switch to the death ray and ambush. Not the enemy I wanted to hit with my ambush. Alright, let's just put you down. Let's do a single shot. Oops, I actually had enough AP to do one more shot. Sixty damage. Damn. Oh yeah, he does have seven armor, I suppose. So yeah, almost any energy weapon. Actually, I think every energy weapon that I've encountered would scale well with seven armor. I think the highest armor threshold I've seen on that energy weapon is six. Anyway, they should put him down. Goodbye. Put him down like a sick robotic dog. Congratulations, Yulia first, three points. Uh, what was I doing with her? Toaster repair? Yeah, I think I was doing toaster <laughs> toaster repair. Oh my god, that is going to be completely useless. Whatever. And I think I was doing outdoorsman with her? Or was I doing hard ass? I can't remember. I guess hard ass? What, was I doing hard ass? Eh, I don't know. Just save your points. I don't want that, no thanks. What the hell? <laughs> you have a poly? Is this like a figurine of a poly or is this an actual parrot? 
Negative to speed, but plus to perception and awareness. Okay, so there's probably more enemies inside of this room. Do I want to kill them just for experience? I don't really need experience for the most part. I hope I have enough ammo for all these people. At least it looks like there's a lot of good cover here. Anyway, first thing I'm gonna do is let's put him, the out of control crazy dude, all the way over here. There you go, you dumb shit. So if he loses control, it's gonna take him like five turns to actually get here. Cover's nice, but my line of sight's gonna be blocked on like everything. You know, I, I think it would actually be better to take off our armor. Because then the energy weapons would scale very poorly. It might be more susceptible to the lobbers and the melee people, but... I think overall I would actually take less damage. I really think I would. I might just do that. I mean, you saw how much damage I did with a death ray to one of those people that had like 5 armor. I did like 20 or 30. And that just did 140. It would change the scaling from somewhere around 2.5 down to about 0 0.4, I believe. My plan worked perfectly. He lost control. He knows what's going on. He can hear the sounds of war over there. Oh my god, it's such a stupid tactic to do to put one of your crew members, just one of your team members on the other side of the map, but it's actually very effective. Which one are you? Oh, you're that one. Well, in that case, you die. Oh. In that case, you don't die. AoEs would be very nice right about now.
I could actually do a pretty good AoE. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Oh, no, you gotta be kidding me. It doesn't quite reach. Fuck. Alright, we'll get one shot in. Not much damage, but it was maybe worth it. Maybe. There's only one guy I could actually hit with my energy weapon anyway, and that's this guy, so... I don't know. I guess it's worth it. <laughs> There's Lexkinium, trying as hard as he can. Yeah, I'm actually going to take off my people's armor. Because these melee dudes are not actually... They're almost never getting to hit me. It's mostly the energy weapons. And their energy weapons are going to do jack crap if I don't have any armor on. And you die. And you... You die. Holy lag. What the fuck? Why am I suddenly getting like one FPS? Okay, it's back. <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> Did it just like try to load all the levels in the game? It's like, hold on, I gotta stream some data here. That was weird. Perfect. Should have killed them both, I think. Alright, you can come back, Lexcanium, come on. Copy, mate. Echo. Congratulations, Echo. I'm getting an obscene amount of. XP in here. 10 points. I guess weaponsmithing? I don't really feel like that matters. Nah, let's do perception. 4 points, let's save that. Okay, yeah, let's take off our, my people's armor. See how that works out. Yeah, I don't actually know where I want to go. I'm just picking a random direction and seeing what happens. Ooh, they have a height advantage. Hmm. Alright, I'm actually gonna heal Yulia.
Okay, cool. He's walking in midair. <laughs> Two hit points. I'm not going to waste a shot on him. Not worth it. Let's go for the big guy. are not in a very good place. Okay, so I'm just going to assume that the gunners are basically pointless to focus on, uh, to really worry about particularly because we took our armor off, so let's go for the melee people and especially the lobber. waste sniper shots on people with like 2 or 58 hit points. I don't think it's worth it. A bit of a waste of ammo, but it's fine. Okay, I don't think anybody has enough armor to actually use the energy weapon anymore. Oh no, you do. Ah, uh, sure. Let's kill you. Oh no, he's almost here. Got a couple more turns. Wait, how much should I do? Yeah, it's way better. Yo, yeah, without the armor, it is way better. Look at this. So, a pulse gunner attacks Bazepi, doing 28 points of damage. 42. 28. Fails to hit. Attacks Helen for 24. Yeah, way less damage. What the hell? Did I... I think I just misclicked on the ground or something. Shit. Alright, we gotta move up, because they're in cover.
Um, just save your ammo. There's no way we're going to kill him. Not this turn with Theodore, because he's really bad with weapons. What is his skill? I think it's, it's six, right? Yeah, he's pretty terrible. Thirty-two? That is not worth it. Copy, Ranger. Congratulations. Five points. Going to put it into brawling when I can. <laughs> the monitor swallowing me. Hi. Is that like some weird security camera? Because it seems like that's something that's supposed to display an image to me, not record an image and show it to somebody else. So I'm not really sure why it's following me. This looks like somewhere I want to be. Twelve percent. Oh yeah, we gotta put this thing on. Much better. Five points, let's put into bartering. Oop, whoops. Well, that's strange. It's letting me look through the door as if it was open. Alright, so I'm going to assume that, regardless of which way I took back there at the beginning of this level, that they would all lead to a door with similar skill checks as this one. So if I go out these doors, I'm probably just going to be fighting unnecessary enemies. I think where I'm supposed to go is here. Yeah, I think all those places are meant to funnel you to here. the production line of of what? What are they making? Holy shit, that is some sort of massive, like bug-like creature. Have they fully made any of these yet? I hope none of them are operational. industrial grade synth instead of the sleek lines of the synths you've seen before. This model looks like it was made for lifting heavy cargo or operating in hostile environments. Its cold black lenses stare at you. The destroyers of Guardian Citadel. I've been waiting so long for this. 
Hello, Dugan. I guess you're a boss fight. What? Don't you know who I am? I do, because it says Dugan above every line of text, and it also says Dugan above your portrait. Matthias, they don't know who I am. Can't you guess, Rangers? This is Dugan. My sworn enemy. The robot monster from whom I was going to save L.A. Genius, boss. Sheer genius. My sworn enemy. So wait, so Dugan, Dugan is not your enemy? Every god needs an enemy to inspire his followers to glory. Until you rangers showed up, I had to invent one. Okay, so you're working with Dugan now for the betterment of both of you. I guess it's in both Dugan's and Matthias's interest that the rangers are not here. Then what better way to cover up all the resources we were stealing? I'd steal from the people. Matthias would swear to protect the people from me. And together, we'd build more synths and augmented limbs with what we took. A win, win. What do you have to do with the Guardian Citadel? It was my home, once. And mine, too. The Rangers drove us and the other Guardians from it when we were on the brink of Godhood. But it doesn't matter now. You have only delayed the inevitable. It is being prepared for our return as we speak. Your death struggles are nothing in the life of mortals like us. What do you mean by being prepared? You haven't heard? Matthias has activated all the old, long, hidden security systems in the Citadel and turned them against your friends. Oh shit, is that... You know, I was thinking something might happen with that stuff. Remember back at, back at the Ranger Citadel, how there was the, like, entire lower floor that you couldn't access because the access to the elevator was just completely shut off. And didn't they mention that they tried to, like, blow it open with explosives or blow torches or something like that, and they just couldn't open it? And then there's also the massive turrets that were, at the time, deactivated. I was thinking something would come out of that. Fargus and his butchers are likely all dead by now, as you soon will be. You don't think you can die? Our minds are transferred into our new body. They will be immortal. <laughs> Unless I kill the bodies. You might smash one of our bodies, even a hundred. But our minds can always be inserted into another. We will never die. And what if I smash your mind? And assuming you have a copy of your entire brain on a disk or something like that, and it's just being copied to a new body through a computer system, then what if I shut down the computer system or blow it up? You're not an immortal. Nothing is. Matthias is your boss? <laughs> I kind of already know the answer to this. We're more like partners. We were both chosen by the Guardians to become exalted. And once the A.I. comes, we will rule the future together. Our minds linked in a way no human could understand. A.I.? What A.I.? You know it as the base Cochise A.I., but it has become far more than that. It is a god now, a creator more than the Guardians ever were. And our savior as well, for it is the AI who will make Matthias and I one with every machine and computer in the world. We will be gods. 
Okay, so I guess the base Coach Ice, Coach Ice AI has just been kind of lingering and turning into Skynet or something. Alright, well, time to die now. You know that old joke about if I told you I'd have to kill you? Well, we've told you. Now, we have to kill you. Well, not us. We're too busy getting ready to invade Arizona. Robots, attack! But not too busy to deliver a long monologue to your enemy. And all that information delivered to me is entirely pointless because in their minds they're about to kill me, right? So what's the point of telling somebody information if they're about to die? Alright, what do we have here? So we have a bunch of melee enemies, some uh, two weapon weaponous industrial worker bots, and then one mason cannon which really needs to be killed immediately. Okay, um... Shit, I really wish I went into the center and not on the side, because now I have to go really far to even get near. I wonder if the cannon can actually reach me from there. It, it probably can. I'm just going to assume it has unlimited range, because I'm pretty sure its range is pretty obscene. Alright, so we just need to run forwards. Oh, perfect! It's targeting, targeting Lexcanium. Oh, wait, actually, that's not perfect, is it? Because he's going to lose control, which means I can't just put him on the other side of the map. Shit. I don't know. Maybe I won't lose control of him. We'll see. Let's start plinking at this thing. Oh, you know what? I should equip my armor. Yeah. I really should equip my armor. Ah, he lost control. Great. Oh shit, you can't do it in combat. Okay. That's bad. Ah, it's out of range. Seventy percent. Um, is it worth taking the risk? Probably not. Uh, 
Okay, maybe I should just hack one of these things. Or maybe not. 12% chance. Uh, no. Alright, this is gonna hurt when they start chewing us up because we have no armor. Thankfully, though, that one was really stupid and went somewhere where it can't actually hit us. I think it could have when it went there, but since we all moved, now it can't. Can't reach it. Yeah, we're all gonna get stunned. And what does that do again? Minus speed and minus awareness. I think we can kill it before it gets another turn, which is very good. I don't know how many turns it takes to, to uh, actually attack, but um, I don't think I've given it more than its current amount of turns. So let's not find out. Yeah, this thing is dead. Okay. We're good. I don't think I like that very much. Canium's given that bot a good work over. It's almost dead. Save some ammo here. Copy, Ray. Echo cool. one. Graduate. Seven points. Let's go ahead and upgrade submachine gun.
Those are very heavy. Eh, I'll take them. It's fine. Not exactly pressed for space at the moment. Let's see if the big thing dropped. <laughs> Just a tread. Eight pounds? No, five pounds a tread. Pretty sure there was more tread than that, but I guess the rest of it blew up. Alright, well, I think I'm going to end this episode here. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I'm going to go try to follow Dugan.